Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this tutorial, we'll discuss all the new features. Well, not many new features, but the new features in Elementor version 3.7. Now you can customize which page to exit to when you're exiting the Elementor interface. So let's say you created a page using Elementor and you clicked on edit with Elementor, you're making all the changes. Now you can configure where to exit when you're done working in the Elementor interface. So if you click on the hamburger menu, click on user preferences. You can see now there's an option called exit to you can choose all posts. So what this essentially means is that it will exit to that particular post type. So if you're editing pages with Elementor, it will go to all pages. If you're editing a template with Elementor, it will go to all templates. If you select this post, it will go to that particular post page or whatever post type it is, right? If it's a template, it will go back to that template in the WordPress interface. So let me show you one by one. So if I choose this post, click on update, click on the hamburger menu and click on exit. That will take us to the WordPress interface of this page. You can see that here. All right. Now I'll click on edit with Elementor again. Let's change that again. Again, click on hamburger menu, click on this. And instead I'll change this to all posts. But remember, it takes you to the similar post type. Since this is a page, it will take you to all the pages list. I'll click on update and if this is a template, it will take you to all the templates section. Let's exit again and you can see it takes to all pages, right? Similarly, you can choose to exit to dashboard. Well, that's self explanatory, right? That essentially takes you to the WordPress dashboard. You can choose that as well. Let me quickly do that. Just like that, we are back in our dashboard. So that is the first feature. Now, the second feature is to define custom icons in the alert widget, video widget and image carousel widget. So let me go to one of my templates, click on edit with Elementor. And if I drag in alert widget or let me just type alert widget, you can now customize the close and opening icon of alert widget. So you can click on the widget and down here you have an option to pick your custom icon. You can pick well, any icon from your list, right? So maybe you can pick something like that. And that changes the icon of the alert widget. Again, the same applies for video widget, right? If I drag video widget above this, you can now customize the play icon of the video widget. So scroll down, click on image overlay. If you pick that now for play icon, you can pick a custom icon as well. So something like that. If you're happy with that or you can upload your own you can pick anything from your icon library something like that right so that is for the video widget similarly you can also pick custom icons for your image carousel widget the left and right arrows of your image carousel widget so custom icons another new feature in elementor 3.7 now the third feature is to pick a different language for your elementor editor right so if your site has a language, let's say it has a language, you can pick a different language for your user and that language will be reflected in the Elementor editing interface. Unfortunately, since this is in beta, I was unable to do that. Maybe it's a bug or something, but yeah. So whatever language you pick for this user will be shown in the Elementor interface. So that's another feature. Now the final major feature, or you can just call it a tweak. Now, whenever there's a number, you can simply hover your cursor over the text and you see this arrow. You can click and drag either left to decrease or drag right to increase that particular amount, right? So you can give it a margin, give it a padding and stuff like that, right? So you can go to this, go to advanced. Maybe you link it all together. And if I click and drag onto the left, it becomes negative. If I drag it onto the right you can see the padding increases so click and drag under anything and that particular field turns blue just to let you know that you're clicking on that particular field so any numeric field anything that has a number you can just click and drag either left or right this is similar to what you find in photoshop and other adobe applications so that is the final feature of elementor 3.7 if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about it Subscribe for more like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.